Hey there everyone. All the techies and data enthusiasts there. So guys, welcome back to another video of Transformers Simplified. And in this particular video, we are going to discuss about self-attention and multi-head attention and how is it useful in Transformers architecture. So we are going to deep dive on it. And previously we have discussed about embeddings and positional encodings in our video 3 of our Transformers. If you have not checked that, check out that particular video. Video link will be in this video description. So guys, now let's dive into my computer screen and discuss more about uh, self-head attention and multi-head attention. And make sure to subscribe the channel, do follow me on LinkedIn and if you have any questions, you can ask me over there. So guys, now let's get started. So guys, in our previous video, we have discussed about embeddings and positional encodings. So if you have not checked that particular video, you can check out the video. Video link will be in this video description. So today we are going to discuss about self-attention and multi-head self-attention. So what is self-attention? Self-attention is a mechanism that allows the model to weigh the importance of each word in a sentence related to all other words. It helps the model to focus on relevant information, enabling a rich understanding on the language. Consider the task of translating a sentence from one language to another. So translating a sentence uh, one by one not works effectively because it fails to capture the contextual relationship between the words. So in short, what it does means is, so this self-attention, it will help you understand the meaning and uh, the uh, reason behind those particular words and focus on better understanding of that particular information. So when it comes to this uh, RNNs and LSTMs, which we used to previously use there, when we give an input, so one word by one word, so it is like sequence to sequence models, right? So they takes one word at a one word by one word at a time. So in that particular scenario, you, you cannot expect like in one language, if it is in one order of sentence, the same sentence cannot come in other languages, right? There the way of communication will be different. So RNNs and LHTMs used to fail there. So we one by one when they try to decode and convert to other language, the sentence doesn't make meaning. So there, there was a big failure. Only that is the reason uh, in Transformers we introduced or you can say they introduced self-attention. So for example, if you see a French sentence. Uh, so this is a friend sentence you guys can see here play chat um, and it is something like you can just have a read on it so French I am not good at and once we get translated it so you can see here, the black cat uh, it's the white mouse so you can see here it is completely different right so cat here they are calling as uh, chat I guess so it is a bit different however the translation does not accurately convey the meaning because uh, it doesn't consider the context on order of words self-attention can help to address this issue by allowing the model to focus on relative words based on the relationship so this is one of the main important uh, point you can say and here there is a better uh, embedding vectors and their representations as well with the image i'll show you this so how does self-attention works Let's break down that step by step with graphical understanding or you can say we have created an images for you all where you can understand it very clearly. So let us assume that you want to embed a token of French sentence. So you can see here lay is 01, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, chat 0 0.4, 0 0.5, So like this it comes on, right? So now here you can see this is our French sentence and that has been tokenized what is the process actually goes in transformers that I'm telling you all. So first the input uh, is given, then it has been tokenization process. Then the tokens, you can see all the tokens here, they are separate, separate. So now the tokens are again embedded. So these are the embedding representations here, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 3, so on. So for each of these particular tokens. So that here you can check practically as well. I'll show you all. So we are using torch for this from torch.nn import neural networks and tokens we have given here and input dictionary as well. These are the dictionaries, right? So input I have given here. So now if I run this and now convert the tokens into embeddings, tensor dot, uh, sorry, torch dot tensor. So, and we have a uh, embedding dictionary token. So this embedding dictionary and for this we have given token variable here. And for token in tokens, dictionary type, and we have defined that and embedding. So now you can see our embeddings tensors are 
you can see a 0 dot 1000 these are like a two dimension array or tensor you can say okay creating query key and value vector so each words embedding is transformed into three vectors again so that is query key and value this i have already explained previously as well if you haven't checked that video you can check it out and going forward as well we are going to deep dive on it no so that is already explained Okay, query represents the word currently being focused on and key represents all words in the sequence and value holds the actual information used in output. So you can see here, this is the formula WQ into X, WK into X and WV into X. This is our formula. So when you get it, you will get this is the final formula as WQ, WK and WV. X is nothing but your input word. So transformation here you can see is 1 comma 0, 0 comma 1 and 1 comma 1. So the matrix to understand it better you have an image here again. So embeddings again the embedding is the vector 1 WQ, WK and WV for this QKV. You can say we shortcut uh, we call it QKV. So Q1, uh, K1 and V1. These are Q1 k1 and v1 of each vector we are having them okay q2 uh, k2 and v2 like this we have defined everything till the words okay so whatever it is and now let us run this now as this is done now you can see again shape is 3 comma 2 okay so two dimension and uh, three inputs okay in short that means that so now the tensor dot uh, math multiplication math m u l it is nothing but inbuilt word or inbuilt function called math multiplication so when i run this you will get the shapes of uh, let us see this if you want so now if i just check v here so it's already available below but i'm just simply printing here you can see here, this is our v tensor you have 4000 5000 zero dot okay so these are actually the vectors you can say vector embeddings so this uh, again i have printed here in a format you can see a qkv uh, embeddings calculating the attention score so now all these qkvs which we are having right that has been sent to one variable called q1 and their score q1 into k1 q1 into k2 q1 into k3 so like this we calculate the scores so on till 7 so q1 is our main function and we are multiplying it with the k1s so after running this you can see the uh, lay score is attention score for lay is 0 0.4100 0 0.9500 so these are scores actually you can have a look on them here it is in detail we have mentioned the points here for your better understanding the attention scores represent how much each word in the sequence contribute the meaning of word lay. So the score it is taking is a dot product of the query vector. So query Q we have taken right Q1. Q1 is nothing but query 1 and uh, K1. So all this particular QKV we are having right. We are multiplying with them actually. The highest score are the Neuer which is 14900 and Blanc's 14 indicating that lay is more strongly related to these particular words. Okay. The next highest score is uh, Serios. Okay. These are uh, French words 1.2300 and a chat which is 0 0.9500 which is suggesting that lay is also related to these particular words. The lowest score is la, la or uh, manage, la and manage, implying that these words are least direct relationship with lay. Normalizing the score. So once that is done, then you have to give attention weights is equal to, so again, this formula is there, softmax score of q comma k by root of d of k. Dimensions in short. So here, in the dimensions of the key vector are devised uh, division by so in short a d of k is nothing but dimension of the key key vector which we are having so root of dimension of key vector score of q and k 
so divided by uh, dimension of k helps you stabilize the gradients during training so after uh, done with this scoring then we send that to the softmax layer and inbuilt we have softmax layer actually softmax layer and then we send them back to attention weights so here you can see uh, normalizing the scores using softmax attention weights is equal to torch.nn function attention weight is nothing but here our variable here so that's why we called here as a variable and score softmax we sent and the dimension is equal to minus 1 once we run this you can see a tensor we got the score normalized score okay and finally weight of sum of values so now the attention weights are used to compute the weighted sum of the value vector so output is equal to sigma attention weight dot v okay again we are uh, doing the same thing attention weight so from attention weights which we got right that we are again multiplying previously we multiplied q and k so don't get confused q and k now here what we are doing we are multiplying uh, attention weight 1 means this attention weight which we got 1 into k value uh, k right uh, no v value v so q k v we already divided and their scores are there right so if you scroll up you can see here actually so this is our v uh, value vector so this score in short we are multiplying this score with our attention weights okay to understand better so we are multiplying each uh, values of each particular word with attention weight to get the output so here you have the code again output is equals to torch dot uh, math multiplication math multiplication is our inbuilt function attention weights dot unsqueeze zero comma v unsqueeze zero we are calling here comma v print the output so now the tensor for lay is you can see here one dot one eight three six and one dot three four zero eight these vectors represent contextual information of lay incorporating relevant information from all the words in the sentence the output vector tensor 1.1836 and 1.3408 combines information from the word that were determined most particularly to chat or not so don't think that i'm actually reading it i'm trying to explain you all it's more detailed written document for you all to explain the things and here I am actually contextually explaining these things also. This uh, what it is meaning here. It is mentioned here. You can read it. Why is self attention important? Self attention allows the model to dynamically adjust its focus based on the context of the sentence, which leads the rich understanding of the particular language. And in case of uh, translation, self attention helps in module capture the relationship between words embeddings and more accurate translation of the words so this is why we mostly use self attention and which is more important is whatever data we are going to send as an input if you want that as a translated output then only self attention can do it actually it can translate the things properly qkv formulas and attention weight and again attention weight multiplication with v and to get the final unsqueezed uh, tensors only this can be done so with lay only these two tensors are mostly related so this is what it tells us finally so here what you see lay chat nor so the output is lay chat nor so those two elements come with so if you see that lay chat nor the input which we gave right uh, here where is the input yeah here lay chat nor so lay chat nor so you will see here uh, all next two words we got it with the help of self attention so if you decode this both the input embeddings you get that okay and after this we have multi head attention so how multi head attention works and what is multi head attention multi head attention is an extension of self attention mechanism and it allows the model to focus on different parts of the input sequences simultaneously instead of having a single attention mechanism so here in short why we use multi head attention is see self attention it takes one input and it scores that and you give you get the output 
but here in multi head attention so it can parallelly process the thing so whatever input you are giving so multiple inputs it takes simultaneously and it works on it in short you have one multi head attention has multiple single attention mechanisms okay or self attention mechanisms you can see here even this meaning represents the same multi head attention uses multiple attention mechanisms or heads to capture various aspects of the input simultaneously key differences for self attention single versus multiple heads so when it comes to single head attention or self attention computation attention scores using a single set of qkv i'm calling it in shortcut uh, qkv vectors for each word it focus on the relationship between the words in a straight forward manner but multi head attention utilizes multiple sets of qkv or multiple heads each learning to focus on different aspects of the input this allows the model to capture a wider range of relationships and uh it is relationships and meanings actually diverse perspective each head attention can specialize in different types of relationships one head might focus on synthetic relationship like subject variable pair while others can focus on catching the semantic meaning so if you have multiple self attention or multiple head attention that is one of the main advantage so here how it works you can see here so the same example we are taking in tokenizing it so you got the tokens and embeddings the same embeddings so again tosh.nn and defining the vocabulary and converting the text into embedding so even that we are doing here so for each embedding this is the for each text this is the tensor embedding so again we are using the qkv like how we use for self head attention and here if you see weighted matrix so all the embeddings which we got right embedding matrix and that with weighted matrix into embeddings of qkv so vector 1 uh, wq wk and wv vector 2 so this is defined here till vector 7 all the words in short so they have their meanings again defined then uh, wq tensors and math multiplication we are using for the embeddings we are mapping embeddings comma wq so embeddings are nothing but we already have the embeddings at the up here so this is run right so this we ran it right i guess yeah let me run this again so there we have embeddings right here we have already defined the embeddings these are our embeddings so we are mapping this embeddings with uh, wq wk and wv and finally we are printing them in key value pair this time so le chat nor uh, mang la so <laughs> it's very difficult to understand this actually for each embeddings you have the query vectors key vectors and value vectors defined here multi head uh, tensions so instead of using a single set of qkv vectors multi head attention uses multiple set of heads to capture different aspects of relationship between the words here you can see what multi head attention is doing so for each qkv we are having right that we are sending to multi head attention so it has head 1 2 3 4 5 so so on it goes on actually and it tries to capture the meaning parallelly and the semantic meaning and synthetic data generation so if you see a split head so we have split head size and we have multiplied it x dot uh, v batch size minus 1 number of heads and depth return x dot permute permute is nothing but permutation combination if you know so that inbuilt function we have used here 0 comma 2 comma 1 comma 3 for rearranging and finally we are printing it we can see a q head shape 7211 and k and v also it is same after this again we are going to compute them now this time we are going to take qm into kn qm into kn so like this it goes on scoring for all the seven words which we are giving so this is used to calculate the attention scores of qk so math multiplication comma k dot transpose we have used transpose as well here for uh 
getting the shape minus 2 and minus 1, which is nothing but squeeze length, return score, and finally attention score heads, calculating the attention score function we are calling here, and Q head we gave here, and K head, and when we print that, we get the heads as 0, and for head IDX in range of number of heads, and print head of uh, head IDX, and this is actually a uh, for loop we are writing in short zip tokens attention score head zero comma head idx print token and score so we are printing it simultaneously token and score here if you see head is zero lay uh, is our token and its tensor score head one which has lay and its tensor score normalizing the scores so uh, these are nothing but attention head zero and head one scores so we are printing here Normalizing scores. The attention scores are normalized using the softmax function to convert them into probabilities. Attention weights. These weights indicate the importance of each word in the context of the word being processed. So here if you see softmax is done. So from uh, QK multiplication and again we are sending them to softmax. And attention weights are again figured out. So attention weights 1 to 7. So now the softmax score, again we are defining the function for normalizing and finally we are writing the attention weights and printing it. So after normalizing, if you see head zeros, uh, lay tensor is 1.0 and head 1 also it is giving 1.0 for lay. So the same like how we did in self attention. So QKV, QK multiplication is done. Now again attention weights into VI means uh, value multiplication so again the same process goes on here and if you see here both head uh, head 0 and head 1 are having very least difference okay it is uh, 0 0.4000 and 0 0.5000 which is only 0 0.1000 is the difference in both the heads and finally we are concatenation of heads so we are combining all the concatenation of all the outputs and we get the output of uh, lace tensor is nothing but 0 0.4000 comma 0 0.5000 and finally we are going to do the linear transformation the concatenated output is passed to the final linear transformation procedure for final output so here once that is done then we perform the linear transformation again with tensors and uh, math multiplication and finally we get this as output so the key points we discussed here is nothing but uh, self-attention, what is self-attention and multi-head attention. See, you don't need to understand these codes actually to say frankly. Now, if you guys understand this images, what is actually this self-attention and multi-head attention is doing, you guys got the game because this is all internal process of transformers, what it is going on internally. So if you are going to work on real time, you are not going to define all this UKV and all these formulas and all. Just import transformers or import uh, GPT and you are going to start to work with those pre-trained models. Because all those models are already perfect enough and well trained to handle all these cases. Okay. So guys, I hope you all got this. This will be very helpful for your interviews. That's all. So those who are thinking of uh, getting these notebooks. This notebook link is in this video description. You can check out that and make sure to subscribe the channel for more interesting videos like this. So guys, meet you all in my another video. Bye-bye.